Welcome to Beer and Politics. I hear a lot of people talking about how repealing the Second Amendment is about the only way to pass meaningful gun control legislation. Now, it, we would certainly make it much easier, but I don't believe that it's a necessary step. If we think outside the box, if we don't let the prevailing sentiment surrounding the Second Amendment determine how we interpret those 27 words, we can come up with some interesting ideas. So, let's get creative. Let's say you own a gun. It's your right, after all. Two of your friends also own guns. The first owns two, the second owns 50. So we have three gun owners owning one, two, and 50 guns. Certainly your second friend is exercising their Second Amendment right, maybe compensating for something. But isn't your first friend also exercising their right? What about you with your one gun? Of course you are. You all are. There's no quantity requirement here. Owning a gun is obviously keeping and bearing arms. No reasonable person would tell you otherwise. And that is really important. Three gun owners with one, two, and 50 guns are all exercising their right to keep and bear arms. So, if we made a law saying you're only allowed to own one gun, then how specifically would that law infringe your right to keep and bear arms? And I know you'll say it's limiting your ability to purchase or own more guns, and that's true. But remember, there's no quantity requirement here. Would your argument really be that owning a gun is infringing your right to own a gun? Because if owning a gun is exercising the right to keep and bear arms, then the right to keep and bear arms hasn't been infringed. Think about it. You only get one vote. Voting more than once is against the law. So if voting twice is illegal, does that mean you don't have the right to vote? Of course not. It just means you only get one vote. Till next time. Thanks for watching.